are welcome to this system. I want to minimize it. So that's gone because we don't have the possibility to have this icon up here. It's not here, standard in GNOME. The only thing I can do is super tap to activate, activate it again and then pause. So minimize goes up here and that's it. I had some problem with the glitches in Cinnamon. I think I figured more or less out what the setting should be. There are still some glitches, but we'll figure it out till 100% of all the glitches are gone. I've done the same settings here and we are not, of course, on Cinnamon anymore. Console Alt-T is not working. We have here Termite somewhere on this machine. Termite is here. There you go. And did I see icons that were not following the color? So there is a new update for the Sardi icons and you'll see that this red thing is gone then, the dev help. And then everything is okay again. So let's maybe start with that and do an update. Let me pause this video. So let's continue our video. So I wanted to update. When anything comes in from Arc Linux and that's going to be put in the ETC scale, you just type scale, basically. And when you do it like this, then this command will just update the remaining AUR and there are things to install. We have updated the Sardi and the servant icons and it's because of a PAMEC hour that has, um, well, changed its icons or something like that. You can always go to Arc Linux Hello. There is this site we have. And if we were interested in what's changing and all everything, everything is in here in the beta versions for our people to follow what changed. So this was what we're used to. Suddenly after an update, this looks like this. And that was the opportunity for us to tweak and restyle the PAMAC with these icons here, the blue from the Arc Linux logo. So that's what's changed, that's coming in. At this point in time, he's doing all that. So he's compressing packages, etc. Talking about compressing packages, this is a clean installation. So I go to here, go to my dot bin, and I totally forgot again to run this first before updating because it's going to use all the cores. At this point in time, I just used one core. But now, after this script here, eight cores are used next time around when I build something. It's just for the stuff from a war that is interesting. You can install some fun stuff as well, as you can see here, or have the LTS kernel or do the fix for the Intel or AMD and microcode. So all these things are in here, things that you can, well, use and reuse uh, at your discretion. What else? So we have an update system. We have um, this menu up here. We can add applications, show applications. By the way, the dev help, where is the guy? It's not red anymore, but it uh, was here somewhere. Let's just type it dev. So this guy was, I think, red or something. So that's fixed thanks due to the update we've done for Sardi. So, surf um, uh, settings, that's what I wanted to do. Settings, we have a lot of settings we can change. The background settings, we can change the background here as well. There is variety, but variety, like I said, it's not up here. It's a minor setback, I think, in this desktop environment that you don't have uh, the normal icons, the system icons, the system panel. You need to have an extra extension in order to have that and then you have to think again oh, what was the name again and then at some point you say oh, whatever right but it's on our Arc Linux I don't know it by heart I have an idea what it is I've mirrored my display to have a better simple screen recorder that's all I did and yeah do have set Change the, the standard simple screen recorder set, settings have been changed. Uh, set it to medium. Uh, you can take a look at the settings in the video about cinnamon. So all these things are here. Uh, let's include a tip details. Default applications. You would never have known that it was in here. 
it's so well hidden away so nobody finds it anymore. So default applications, everything is set, but terminal is missing. So all these things are here. Devices are is interesting as well. So display the mouse and the touchpad uh, may be interesting for you. Test your settings if you want to. Ooh, nice. Okay. Uh, close it up. So if you want to change, so tweak your system, right mouse click, add to favorites, escape, then it's here. And then we can go and have a look at appearance. So we can have an R dark. Let's go for red this time, breeze snow. There are lots of breeze things. Let's go for oxy neon. That's been a while. And then Sardi Monocolora. Um, we're going for red. Let's now let's try out the icon theme. Let's go for blue because this is a new icon theme. And let's see if it's, everything is okay. Everything is blue. That's a good test. And the files are this kind of look. Control H. This is the normal look. And you can change elements here as well. Show hidden files. Reload. Plus and minus. New window. New tab. Preferences are in here. And okay. Search and preview. Fine. I thought I wanted to yeah, sort folders before files is something I rather have. Then it looks like this. And then all the folders are up here and the files are down here, which is makes more sense in my perspective, of course. All personal idea. Control H. So this is what we've had now. We have a blue background and we have an, a red accent in this thing. We can also have a blue accent in this thing. I mean you choose the colors, they are there. And um, then we have the sound, default, fine, background, zoom, etc. We can have some extensions. Like I said, we need an extra extension to have this system panel thingy up there. We have the PAMAC updates indicator. Oh, that's nice. That's new. So we can just add it up here. So we have this package manager link and as you can see it's all blue now which uh, i needed to check as well so if you go and have a look and see what did we install from other clinics on gnome then we did not install this guy it's for xfce that's for awesome and that's for bspwm that's open box that's cinnamon etc right so it makes sense and um, that's good news that this is there maybe there are some more surprises so PAMAC, that's there. Places, removable, user themes, the rest is still the same as it was before. Okay, and then some fonts. So it's working with Cantarell. If you decide to go again for the Notal Sans look, and then you have to keep typing Notal Sans regular, and I guess all the way up. Yeah, all the way up, and select and everything will look a little bit different as you saw. So, okay, legacy window titles. Not sure how legacy or what legacy is, uh, with what application you can see it, but best is just to keep on having the same everywhere. Uniform look. Keyboard and mouse. And applications. Here's something about the touchpad if you want. Fingers area disabled. Startup right, it will be launched. Blank will be launched. Yeah, where's my blank then? Don't see blank at all. But we can activate blank. It's a bit silly. It's it is silly. I mean we have a blank. This is a blank. Why do we need another blank, right? But if we put it down there to the bottom, maybe this makes more sense. But even so, um, maybe don't like it. So, Plank, I'm not sure if it will launch. So I'm gonna add it. So you do plus, and you type Plank, not S. Ah, it doesn't find it. It does not find it. Remove. So plus, 
let's scroll to the peep let's see if it works like that maybe you know, some logic in the in the story if your blank is already there maybe you can't find it and that's the logic so add this seems like a proper icon and will launch later if you want it all right so we is going for a blue look that's for sure lots of things change and tweak so variety is not here at all we need, still need this uh, indicator thing mm, i think the best way is go to chromium and um, let's go and look for article links the gnome all scripts necessary oops not the one that's the scripts and this is the explanation so phase three gnome gnome articles must be in here somewhere so how about um, gnome and variety variety how to add variety icon to system tray in article links d gnome so it doesn't matter it has a d or a b it's still arch it's still article and this is the link I wanted to have. And I should remember case status notify item slash app indicator support. But I can't remember. So it's there. We add an extension to the system. Don't want to sync right now. This little thing. Uh, yeah, that's the one. That's the one that came extra now. If we reload it, we just hope that we can just switch it off and switch it on. Install this notifier something will pop up here at some point in time not sure if i have to do something but it's installed anyway so your system's up to date that's what we're looking at but how about this thing is it now activated already in the extensions or not so off and on I, I'm afraid we need to log out and log on. That's some one thing I can't do when recording simple screen recorder. But we'll see that variety will uh, be there next time we launch. Or maybe let's think. Well, just quick trial, trial and error. Let's have uh, termite here. Let's kill all variety. This variety is still running. Good question. We have the GNU monitor, but why not? Why launch it from there? Just start typing system monitor, right? System monitor. And I'm gonna look for variety. Is it still running? No, it's not running. Fine, then we start running it. Click. I guess I need to reload. I just uh, long shot, but yeah there we are so this is your gnome experience here um to know what i what else i could say we've tested a few things um, feels good feels fast just hope that there are not too much glitches so i'm gonna super tap this thing and i'm gonna pause here no no pause i'm gonna save all right cheers enjoy our clinics be gnome